Hello everyone, welcome back to the jQuery video series. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the jQuery filters. In my previous video, I talked about jQuery selectors, what they were, and how we can use them. In this video, I'll be talking about jQuery filters. So, without further ado, let's get straight to it. Now, the way we use the filters is that we type the name of the, the element or the tag, and then we use the filter to filter that is the class or the ID. For example, now I want to select the second line that has the ID para. So if I just type let's say P, now now this is the selector, okay? Now I'm just going to show you a little difference of what a difference between selectors and filters and filters. Now I'll just type P and now hit space. I'll quickly go to the preview and as you can see all the all the paragraphs are now being highlighted. Or instead of all the paragraphs, what I want is just the second line to be selected. So the way we do that is by using the using something called filters, jQuery filters. The second line that is the weather is lovely. We are going to select that by using the filters and that is the ID property of the paragraph. So so the way we do that is I'll type C and then period and then the pound sign because this is the ID. Okay, if it was the class, you could just type P dot then the class name. So now I'm going to write para1, I'll hit save, and I'll go back to my preview, and there you go. The second line or the second paragraph is now being selected. If you want to select the first one, the first line that is class A, it is simply the phone with class A. It's P dot A and then the first one will be selected. Let's just save and go to my preview. And there you go. Now you do the same thing. What I'll do is that I'll just select this one and then copy here. And then let's say uh you can type anything. The sky is blue. Okay. Now, now I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now, the first paragraph is having class A. The second paragraph is also having the class A. So I'll save this one, and I'll I'll go to the DB in Firefox, and you know the result. It will be this one, and then this one because the first paragraph is having class A. The second paragraph also has the class A. So there's the reason why both are highlighted. So that is the power of using the jQuery filter. There are a lot more to it. I'm going to talk to you about that in my upcoming videos. So do join me in my next video and thanks for watching and have yourself a good day.